I'm with Eric Nelson and Joe Pernice of Chasing Yesterday. Welcome. Thanks for having us. How are you guys doing? Good, excited to be yeah. here. I mean, it's an exciting weekend for the film and for the festival. So Yeah, big weekend. Anxious. And you won an Emmy, is that correct? Yeah, I'm kind of still on a high from it, actually. It yeah. just happened last night. That's exciting. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yay. <laughs> you got a party. Did you party last night? We did. Yeah. We did. And we've got a bunch of family in town, so we're going to continue the partying. Good, good. So one of the things that I really like about this film is that there's a lot of family and there's a lot of social relationships. Why did you choose to do that? Well, I mean, first going about it, I wanted to make sure that I made a film for everyone. We call it a four quadrant picture. Um, something that there's a character in the film that everyone could relate to. So I wanted to make sure that that was, because I mean, we don't see films like that. Um, too often right now and I want to make a film that was for everyone and then everyone could relate to at least one character in it. Yeah. Yeah, and I like how when you were going through the thick of it you had a cheerleader to help you out and that one believer. What was yeah. that like? I feel and I feel like, you know, the, the character of Junior um, you're rooting for him the whole time, which yeah. is fun. Yeah. And, and everyone kind of likes the underdog story yeah. and everyone can kind of get into it. And uh, a lot of the work that I had done previously and prior to Chasing Yesterday has been very intense, very dark. It's not a lot of times you get an opportunity to be in a script and work on a project that everyone can enjoy, truly the entire family. My grandma finally said to me, Eric, it's finally a film I can show my friends. <laughs> I'm so excited to show the whole clubhouse. Like, you know what I mean? <laughs> Because everyone can get something from it and it has I a positive so. message. It really does. Really important in today in film. So I think that's kind of lacking out there right now. Yeah. And I think what's really important to highlight is that everyone's family is here today. Like, there's such a good, like, family vibe. No, I think that's critical because I think that's your support system that helps you go a long way. What is that like for you guys having your family around? Not everyone has that. Yeah, well, I mean, first off, the film right in production. I filmed it all literally inside my parents' home and my childhood house. So families were always there and you now on set we, we had our parents on set, had my sisters on set. So to make I mean a film like this it touches on a lot of genres. We could say that it does touch a little bit on family as well. And it really does stem from, from me always having my family around, always having family support the film. And then to, to meet people like Eric and Sainty and Courtney, who brought their family in, who comes yeah. from families with the, with the same values, I mean, that's great. And they've been just as supportive as my family has been. Yeah, that's wonderful. I think that was one of the main reasons that it, it it all came together so nicely. It's because we do have that back, you know, that backbone of our family support, and um, you know, I'm I'm producing our, uh, as well as an actor on the film with my wife. So we're, yeah, you know, it's very true. much family involved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And um, I, I think we got really blessed and lucky in that sense. And that does that's I've been doing this ten years, and it's, I've never had an opportunity like that. So it was really special. That is really special. What were some of your favorite moments filming this? <laughs> We had a lot yeah. of good moments. I mean, you know, we shot a lot outside because there was a lot of running and stuff. Uh, so weather was always, it was also in the fall in New Jersey. So, yeah, it's you know, rainy, right? the, rainy, but yeah, also we, very cold. Yeah, the, the weather, some days, I mean, that, the last scene when we shot, um, the final race scene was over the course of two weekends. Mm -hmm. And the first weekend, I think it was 65 degrees and sunny. And the yeah. second weekend, it was 30. It was a lot of like group <laughs> huddling and like family hugs and hugging and, and warming each other up in between, in between takes. So here's my uh, positive psychology questions. When you're faced with rejection, especially if it's something that you really wanted, how do you get the motivation to keep moving forward? You know, I think it really helps um, my wife being living and being best friends with someone who's doing the exact same thing you're doing and in the same business and having that support and backbone. And you know, when you come off a 12 day, a 12 hour shoot, and you come home to someone who absolutely understands what you're going through and what you're feeling, and because uh, she's been there as well, I think for me that is my biggest support system and the most encouraging thing uh, that, that, that that gets me going and I would credit all my success to that and having someone like that in my life. Oh. Yeah, a little, a little, uh, little heartwarming right now but it's true. No, that's, it is true. I, I, I agree. Thank you. Yeah, I mean, um, he hit it with, with family and friends and when you're on set it's also to having, having a crew that's going to be your support system knowing that, I mean, as a director 
um, who's going to pick up the slack for me sometimes because can't put all the weight on my shoulders. And what's good is that we had just great people on there who were great at their craft mm -hmm. that could do it where I didn't even worry about. Yeah. And then when it comes to actually just the, the mental stress of shooting a film and being um, this being my first uh, feature film that I've directed, being able to come home and step away to and come home to family, friends, and my fiance yes. to be able to say, you know, it's okay, it's, you know, let me take a breather from that, recharge to be able to go back in. Well, I'm really just getting the sense that it's all about social relationships. The <laughs> film's about that, your support network, it's, that's good, that's true. Uh, to keep knowing what that end goal is mm -hmm. and working toward that, and if anything is in my way, and is trying to stop me from getting there, I just think, well, I know I'm eventually going to get there, so let's not think about the, the small stuff now. Yeah. yeah, I think it's very much about what you put out there is what you're going to get back. Mm -hmm. So if you try to keep positive and try to think positive and try to uh, surround yourself in a positive environment, odds are things are going to go well. Right. You know what I mean? And yeah. I, I do solely believe as well that, you know, you are who you hang out with. I think surrounding yourself with good people, working with good people, good things are going to happen and, and this has been a testament to that. I was, I was just going to say your character yeah, shows that. It's true, it's, it, it's all in the movie too yeah. which is great and, it, and it's true to us. Well thank you so much, thank I you. love the film, I think you guys are doing something that's really important and I wish you the best of luck. Thank, thank you, you so Sophie, much. it was a pleasure, thank thanks for having us. Yeah, thank and you. congratulations on your first feature film. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs>